Hello, today we are going to get an answer to the question does Half-Life Counter-Strike 1.6 work correctly in Wine in the year 2024? So this is uh, Kubuntu 23.10. We're trying to play this Windows game, Half-Life Counter-Strike from uh, 2000, Valve and Sierra. This is a known map from this video game named DE Dust. The software that we're going to use in order to run this Windows game on Linux is called Wine. This is the Wikipedia page for Wine. Wine is available from binary packages from Ubuntu. So let's start installing the software. First of all, we're going to install the package named Wine. This um, will install both Wine for 32-bit Windows executables, also for 64-bit Windows executables. So I do not want a Wine installation that can run 64-bit applications. That's why I'm going to remove that functionality. It's called Wine64. It's a deb package. And then I'm going to need another deb package, which is called Wine Tricks. I have um, the directory where Counter-Strike 1.6 is available. Let's first create the wine prefix 32-bit, which will create the directory dot wine, a hidden directory in my home directory. So that would be, we can start any executable, either from wine or another executable that we downloaded, a Windows executable. Explorer is the file manager in Windows and is also available inside any Wine installation. Okay, it sees that I do not have any Wine prefix and it's going to create it inside of tilde slash dot Wine directory. This is how it uh, looks like. There's the Z directory which is mapped to Linux is slash, so the root directory, and C colon is mapped to here, tilde slash dot wine. Okay, there's the Windows directory, C colon backslash program files directory, users, and uh, program data. And Z is just what's inside kubuntu23.10 in the slash directory. Now that the prefix has been created, I can close Wine's um, Explorer, so Windows File Manager, and we can change into the directory where I have Counter Strike 16. So we're inside the directory where Counter Strike 16 I have. Um, the available installation. The executable is called C Strike, so we can start using the software emulation, which is called Wine. Okay. Now it complains that the function load library was was um, called with the with this. Um, DLL MS VB, Microsoft Visual Basic, VM, I don't know, Virtual Machine 60.dll. So one of the executables, actually the executable cstrike.exe, specifies in its import uh, directives that it requires this um, DLL to be available on the system, which it's not available. But we have installed wine tricks 
and we're going to search on the internet and see what do we need to install using Winetrix in order to have this um, DLL MSVB VM60.dll available inside the wine prefix on C column backslash. Okay, and the solution is wine tricks vb6 dot vb6 run this thing. Copy, paste. It downloaded uh, the executable vb run 60 service pack 6.exe. It's extracted it using uh, cub extract, so it's a cub archive. There's these um, ex um, DLL files inside, including msvbvm60, which has been copied to C column backslash Windows backslash system32. And now we can just run wine C strike again. And Counter Strike has started correctly. This is um, Counter Strike 1.6 with bots, many maps. We're not going to play online. So, new game. Now we're going to do on all. Easy. Keep the settings default. Counter terrorist SAS. Counter terrorist SAS and run. Move, move. So it runs with um, hardware acceleration or ATP resolution by default. Is very playable.
and that's it. Counter-Strike 1.6 is Counter-Strike 1.6. Let's look at the other resolution. So, video. There's this uh, artifact with fonts, a uh, vertical bar before A, before lowercase e, before this uppercase V, before this uppercase A, before this uppercase A, after this lowercase Y, and after this K. So between fonts, there's vertical lines seemingly randomly and dots. Okay, let's look at uh, resolutions possible. So we started with 480p, that's 640 times 480. And now we're at the one that's closest to 1080p, which is 1400 by 1050. And with this uh, resolution, fonts are even less readable. There's way more artifacts between, between the fonts. Maybe because I did not install using WineTrix the Microsoft Core fonts, for instance, or other Microsoft fonts.
and that's really it.